Hey you guys, this is Black and Blue, and I don't know about you, but I'm ready to get into part three of nail designs on my right hand, my non-dominant hand. So this is going to be a story time of a basic training event when I got a tick stuck in my leg. So before we get into the story time, I want to say that this design that I am doing um, in this video is based on my bracelet. Very cute. I love it. I'm always wearing it. And yes, it was a gift. And I love it. Did I already say that? Yes, I probably already said that. But that is where this design is coming from. And I also want to say I did do the base of my nails about a week ago. So my nails actually change shape throughout the days because they are poly gel and poly gel is a soft gel. So if you have, say, a stiletto nail where it's sharp, once you go through day-to-day -day life, they will start to dull and change more into a rounded shape. So I can say the shape of my nails is a little different and I notice that I don't mind it. But when looking at video, it seems a little more noticeable. Still love my nails. Still have not changed it till right now. I'm looking at them right now. And I love them. So, this video is of my non-dominant hand. And it is not easy doing designs on my opposite hand. But I thought it would be really fun to record so you guys can see it. See how much I either struggle or if I maybe boss it. Let me know in the comments. All right, story time. I feel I owe it to you guys to let you know that when it comes to bugs, I'm not that crazy about them. Shocker. I actually hate bugs. And if you know me, you know me. If you've ever chased me around with a worm, in recess growing up, I hate you. Just kidding, kind of. So, basic training. There are so many cool things that we get to do in basic training, outdoors as well as indoors. I've had a lot of fun experiences where I had to stop and think about how cool it is I'm doing whatever it is we're doing. In basic training, we're outside a lot. We're learning how to shoot, we're working on missions and how to complete missions, how to move when you're advancing and you're moving with battle buddies, not just by yourself. We're learning a lot and we're outside a lot. Now on this particular day, I don't remember exactly what we were doing, but we were in the field and I was on the ground a lot. I can say that because we were on the ground a lot every day. So I can't remember exactly what the training for the day was, but I can at least say that much. Now, it's common to check for ticks after training. Where I grew up, I never worried about ticks. It's not something I did. And no one at that point in my training company had gotten a tick so I've never technically seen one at this point. I was 18, 19. I had just turned 19 years old so I did not know the seriousness of ticks. If you don't know, if you get a tick you want to try and get it out fully and maybe even put it in a Ziploc bag and take it to get tested because ticks carry Lyme disease and it's very common for people to get Lyme disease after getting bitten by a tick. If you check and you have a yellow ring around the bite after a day or two or maybe even three, then you want to go get checked out because that is a sign that you potentially have Lyme disease. Now where were we? So a lovely long day of training and I went about my day and evening like I normally did. Shower, brush my teeth, you know, good hygiene, talk with the girls. 
have a good time, and then get into bed because chances are I'm going to be waking up at oh dark 30. So I try to get as much food and as much sleep as possible in basic training because those two things are lacking the entire training course. You're always hungry and you're always sleepy. Two things that I can't believe I actually made it out alive dealing with. But, um, so yeah, I took a shower, the night was great, and I laid in bed, and lights are out, everybody's knocked out, I don't know why I'm awake, actually I think I was sleeping, but I woke up scratching behind my knee, because it was so itchy, and I don't know why, why, but... I remembered while in my sleep scratching my leg, I remembered someone saying a sign that you may have been bitten by a tick is that it's itchy in that spot. So I'm sitting here itching my leg, half asleep, more like three quarters asleep, and I jumped out of bed so fast. I, oh my god, I, I'm i I'm reliving it as I'm talking about it, and this might not seem crazy for some people, but I about had a heart attack in my bed. I jumped out of bed, and I booked it to the bathroom, which we call the latrine. I booked it so fast, and when I got there, I flipped the lights on, and I look at the where I was scratching behind my knee. I looked... And there was a tick with its head in my leg. And honestly, saying that, I haven't said this story in so long. And saying it just now made my stomach turn because I got a mental picture of it. But, wow. I saw that tick in my leg and I screamed. <laughs> it seems like overkill now, but I screamed. And I didn't care who I woke up. I wanted everybody awake so everybody could try to help me. I was so grossed out. I was so disgusted. I didn't know what to do. I had one female in my training with me, and I cannot remember her name. I think it started with an R. It's her last name. I can't remember her name, but she made it seem like she got ticks all the time, and she can just pull them out no problem. And I was like, no. You're not touching me. And then I go and I have a different person go with me to where our command. There's always one command officer on staff and they're in the office. So I'm like, you have to come with me because you always have to go with a battle buddy. You can never go somewhere alone, which is a good rule. You never know what could happen. But we get there and I'm still freaking out the whole way. I walk into the office, I'm still freaking out, and my my command officer, drill sergeant something, whatever his name was, was like, calm down, slow down, and I'm like, there's a tick in my leg right now, <laughs> and my whole world is coming to a, like, crashing, burning end, and he's just like, okay, I'm like, I need... I need medical help. <laughs> I, I'm, I was beside myself. I'm like, I need this thing out of my leg right now. I need to go to the hospital. Let me tell you, my drill sergeant was like, basically looked at the battle buddy that I had brought with me and said, I have some tweezers. You can get it out of her leg. And I was like, excuse me? First off, I just left the barracks where there was a girl that said she does it all the time to now you're having this girl right here who's never done it try to amputate a bug out of my leg. I was like, excuse me? And he's like, yeah, it's fine. I'm like, Ooh, it's not fine, but okay. I'm freaking out and I just want it out of my leg. So time is passing. He goes to get the tweezers. We're standing there and I'm just like, my heart is pounding. And looking at the tick in my leg, I sit on the floor. I was, you know what? I was either, I believe I was actually on a chair. I was sitting on a chair and my partner was sitting on the floor in front of me. I said my partner, my battle buddy. And she had the tweezers and she was, I don't know if she was shaking because she was nervous. 
but she was just as freaking nervous as I was and she did not look confident she wasn't confident I wouldn't be either and she was like <sighs> she was slowly going in to grab the tick and she would pull and then and then you'd hear the noise of the tweezers clap together and no bug inside of it it was that tick was holding on for dear life to my blood in my skin that made my stomach turn so bad sitting there just knowing that there's a bug that doesn't want to let go of me <laughs> i i feel like i was in some other country that has bugs that i are deadly and i'm and i just got so lucky to get one i felt so out of country i don't even know but she kept trying and then she just grabbed a hold of the back of the tick. All you could see was its butt. You couldn't even see its head. And she grabbed a hold and she pulled. And she, I don't know if she got, she got confidence and said this thing is coming out on this next pull. And it did, except the head was left in my leg. That tick was headless. And you guys, just, just saying that right now makes me want to throw up. I don't know why I'm putting myself through this. I was so mad. And and you know what? It's not her fault. She was honestly helping me because a drill sergeant told her to help me. She never said she had the skill set to take a tick out of somebody's body whole. So I was really mad. I was annoyed. I thought I was going to get Lyme disease the whole nine yards and I did not even want to touch my leg I, I honestly wanted to like have it amputated not really but I did not want to even deal with it it was so bad needless to say that drill sergeant sucks because who knows we threw the tick away I don't even know where the tick went I could have got Lyme disease and nobody would have known I'm good guys I am a-okay but let me tell you, when it comes to bugs, it's a wrap. I cannot deal with it. That's my story time. Thank you for sticking around for it. I'm not the best storyteller, you guys. But I appreciate you guys for sticking around and finding out what happens. Because it's kind of fun telling these little stories I haven't told anybody in a long time. Or that I haven't told anyone at all. This one I have shared because it was insane and scary but these are my nails inspired by my bracelet tell me what you guys think I put the blue and the black as best I could in a marbling marble kind of look and I really like how that hand has mostly white and then my left hand has mostly black I really really like it I'm looking at my nails now and it's really fun to just watch myself do things I think I like my right hand my right hand more than my left hand let me know in the comments below which hand you like more as a whole and i can't wait to see what you guys think i need practice we all know this don't tell me in the comments because i already know all right thank you guys for hanging out with me you guys be safe and have a good one i'm 10 8.